Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about labeling this Dumpster Fire Part 2 Career Mode, but actually I think I'm just going to go ahead and make it a Career Mode and uh, turn it into... What do you call that? Shoot. I'm going to turn it into some sort of Career Mode, Insanely Hard Career Mode category or something of that nature. We'll find out. We'll see. I'm going to... Nah. So I've managed to kill off two people already and we're down to two. Can we hire new astronauts? Whoa. Well now. Uh, huh. We would need a scientist. Wait, is that for everybody? Oh, come on. There's got to be one Kerbal on there that's, like, desperate to get in the space program. You know? If, hmm, 400,000 for a Kerbal. Holy crap. Dude, you cost more than a freaking rocket. Uh, we lost two. Jebediah and Bob. Oh. Uh... All right, we're down to the engineer and the pilot. We might have to restart. 38,000, 43,000 feet. I think I can make that happen. All right, in three, two, one. Uh, and she's lost consciousness. I don't think we made it. How high are we? <gasps> no! Wait, what, what? No! Oh, no! I should have made a return booster. Can I go back? Oh, no, we're going to lose her. Are you got to be kidding. Uh-huh, let it pop. No, 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 no! There goes, the, there goes, there goes. This is weird. That didn't happen before. I am confused. I am so confused. That's our backup engine to slow down and stop. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, you can you can look at it in real time to see what you're doing right and wrong. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And spill it off. Spill it off. Spill it off. Man, that cone is freaking dangerous. I can't even move. I think I'm out of. No, I got electricity. Oh, he was out of. He was unconscious. Okay, dude. Okay, bro. Wow, this thing is coming in like a bullet, and it's not gonna stop for nobody. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's dead. I never had it act like this before. Everybody's dead. They're all dead, Dave. Everybody's dead, Dave. If you can figure out where that came from. I'll give you a digital cookie. Okay, so this time around, maybe not so wet noodly. Uh, we'll, we'll make them a little bit less noodly. There we go. Just a little bit. I want to try to keep it realistic because, let's face it, even for a human, you reach about six, seven, eight, nine, ten Gs, you're gonna pass out. Okay, that's that's just kind of a thing. All right, so I found out that always allow action groups means that in the game, when you upgrade your VAB or, or your space plane hangar, that when you upgrade it, then you can use action groups and all the circuit stuff, which kind of makes sense because as you progress in the tech level and stuff like that, new options and tools become available, which, which I actually think is pretty cool. So I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, we've got everything we need for a suicide run. Gather scientific information around it. Okay, let's do that first. Okay, let's build our little mini rover. Or as we lovingly call, the vomit cart. I was kind of hoping for another capsule so I could get like three crew reports. But I'll go for two. You know, can I take a crew report out of a capsule? Or is that forever with the capsule? I'm gonna check, check that out. There we go, the VMT cart. <sighs> In the immortal words of Shadow Zone. Oh god. Hold up. Why is his parachute a science pack? It's like it's not even reading it. Is that a goof? Is that an oopsies? Mm hmm So basically you just jump and hit EVA report and it'll give you a flying over Kerbin thing. Flying over Kerbin. There we go. I'm trying to make it where I can get a bunch of crew reports. But can he enter the thing now with two crew reports? That's the real question. It's got seven. Can I make another crew report? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's keep on going with this. A little dark in here. All right, so I made a crew report, and I took it out, and I put it into the other capsule. Sweet. I don't even think we need Jebediah in there to do this. All right. Now that's what I'm talking about. Maximize potential. All right. Hey, look at that. What is that, telescope? Is that supposed to be a telescope? Yeah, it's supposed to be a telescope. Okay. Wow. Okay. You got three telescopes, and none of them are focused on the launch sites. <laughs> Now, someone asked me about my thoughts about this pillbox over here, and my thoughts were this. For a very small rocket, it's okay. But if you start getting into the larger rocket areas, there's no glass here. And so all that heat is going to go right inside and then spin around in a type of vortex in this cavity, and it's going to 
cook whoever is in here. Other than that, it looks fun. Interesting how the graphics work, huh? So are you saying that the blast mark here is a separate layer and it's not just one layer, which is okay. I think if I get up on this, I could just get the craft up there on this. It will make it, it will make it like it's flying when it's really not. There we go, I got it. Crew report flaw, flying over Kerbin Shores. Perfect. All right, out of a whopping 31 experiments, we only have 8.2 science earned. Oh, one XP gain, nice. Ah, so this is gonna be the Mark II. We're gonna make it look flashier. Yeah, the Mark II. Vomit cart, vomit cart, Mark II. swimming anytime soon nope that's not a thing oh oh we're still shores huh oh so we have to get out there out there huh we have to like really get out there we have to like be out there for ocean stuff well isn't that a bummer 70,000 meters that's how we lost Jebediah two days for the contract huh so if our craft is very aerodynamic and it's going to uh, give us insta death as soon as it starts getting up there in speed then the only thing to do would be to make it as inefficient as possible to slow it down because the lives of our Kerbals are worth more than the efficiency of our rockets. As long as they can meet the goal and complete the contract, that's all I care about. The most important thing is to get the Kerbal back home alive because in this playthrough, getting a new Kerbal is expensive. So losing a Kerbal is a big deal. Oh my goodness, this is a complete shot in the dark. Whew. I don't see it working because there's no control surfaces, really. Oh, here we go. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> What? We're flying. <laughs> We're flying. Not a whole lot of turn on this. It's more like a dart than anything. I mean, it looks kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and hit our shoots. Do it now. Ah, I should have brought some scientific equipment with that. The goo and stuff. Swivel test seems pretty easy. See, this is what's crazy. The RT-10 hammer, I think, is the larger SRB. Altitude way up here right but they want me to test it at speeds in between 20 and 220 like give me a break we're gonna be doing at least mock before then so they literally want me to stop somewhere between here like with a parachute i don't know crazy okay here we go wait a minute what's run test mean oh oh Ooh. okay run test just means activate that's all that means Run test means turn on the engine, so why even have that button there? To be honest, I don't think this is going to do anything. It's not... We need the weight to be down here. Now, if memory serves correctly, last time we did this, we went way out of the atmosphere. So let's try it with just half the amount of pellet this time. <sighs> come on. Come on. Oh, you... Oh, you're a bitch. So close. This is a lot better. I like this plan. This plan works. Okay. Okay. Definitely going to make 50, but we need to slow down. Screw it. Pop it. Gosh, damn it. <sighs> it's an unrealistic speed. Oh, we might have a different biome here. Highlands. There we go. I keep on forgetting to put a scientific piece of equipment on here. Shit, still not enough. Alright, moment of truth. Slow down. Slow down. Come on, slow down. Got it. Yes! 
<laughs> Finally. Shit. That's right, now we're gliding. Kind of like falling with style. We actually have some direction here. A misty, foggy, oceany day. Man, we didn't get shit for it. <laughs> we didn't get shit for that. Ah, oh, yuck. Okay, um... Orbit Kerbin? Well, I mean, I, I could. I could. I've, I'm I'm almost fairly confident I could actually make Orbit. Orbit with SRBs? I've done that so many times. Yeah, I can do that. That's an easy one, right? Alright. Oh, well, thank you for subscribing. Phylnix? Am I butchering the hell out of that name? Probably am. Obviously, we not, are not going to be able to do a normal gravity turn. I'm thinking straight up and then over. Because if we start if we start doing a normal gravity turn, we're going to burn these up. And these are our safety net to bring the Kerbal back alive. It keeps the pointy end up. Here we go. Keep those temperatures down. I don't want to lose these fins. Go. Cool. There we go. Nice little glide. Slow right down. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm all out of time. Unfortunately, we could not make orbit and then call it a video. But we will eventually. I will figure it out. Until then, stay safe, love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.